everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do the infamous boxer braids that you've been seeing on a lot of celebrities, Coachella that just ended. It's all over Instagram and social media and it's super cute. I actually went to the Grand Canyon last week with my mom and I think every person that was female had the boxer braids in their hair. It was amazing. So, but a lot of people have been requesting like, how do you do this? How does this work? And so today I'm gonna show on the beautiful Trista how to do the boxer braids. So we're starting with like two day worn hair. She's had like some wave in her hair, which is good. You don't want it like stick straight. Although you could honestly do it that way, but I like there to be a little bit of, of pull on the hair. So I'm gonna try and situate her as best that I can in these uh, surroundings to do this cute little hairdo. So basically the key to this um, particular style is to start it up very close to the top of the head. I've seen some people start them like in the middle of their head and it doesn't really give that same effect. So you definitely want it to kind of wrap around the head starting at the front. So you want to get three pieces of hair, one, two, and three. And if you don't know how to do a French braid, then, or a Dutch braid, frankly, um, you should probably first check into that because um, you definitely need to know that basic first. But if you don't, I'm still gonna walk you through it and you'll still learn something for sure. But it's three small pieces of hair and you're basically gonna pass one under the other. So you've created the first part of the braid. Then you're gonna kind of hold it with your fingers and you're gonna grab that first piece and you're gonna gather. Take a little bit of hair into that piece. Cross that one over, pull this one under, grab the next piece, and pull that in. Cross it under, cross it under. It's basically a French braid, but instead of going over, everything is going under. Under, under, grab a piece of hair. Under, under, grab a piece of hair. Sorry for pulling. Okay. Under again. Under, under, grab a piece of hair. We could do a little song. Under, under, grab a piece of hair. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. The next hit. And then just make sure you don't grab hair from this side. I probably should have parted the hair properly beforehand, but we were kind of just doing this video real quick, like. So, Tristan, you're in charge of making sure that hair I don't grab. Okay. Still going under. So now we've gotten to the nape of the neck where there's no more hair. So you want to go kind of braid as tight to the head as possible and grab as much as the little baby hairs as you can and you're going to just uh, finish it off with a regular three strand braid. Just like this. And we're going to show you um, two variations of this hairdo. Braiding all the way to the bottom. I need to cut this girl's hair it's so long. It's good. We like the long hairs. Okay. So now, what I like is 
these itsy bitsy teeny weeny little rubber bands the little tiny ones just like that um, sometimes people like clear I like the brown ones on brown hair because I just think it looks better versus the clear ones I like for like you know blonde hair and stuff so as you can see she is nicely braided right so cute so cute you're like an Indian war princess or something. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now we're gonna spin. Oh, my back drops are moving my back chest. <laughs> okay, good. And uh, uh, luckily she's skinny. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the second part. So again, you're gonna wanna pull up very close to the um, part because you wanna get it as close to there as possible. So remember three pieces, under, 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 just like that, under, grab a piece of hair, under, grab a piece of hair, under, grab a piece of hair, and you gotta keep it as tight as possible. And by the way, you can usually like have this for like three days. Like people, my clients will come back like a week later. Oh yeah, I just took out my braids. It's pretty amazing. In fact, one client, she, um, I braided her right before Coachella and she actually um, took out the braids after a couple days. Um, right about the back this is called the occipital bone so right about here where that little funny like bone is in the back of your head she took out the bands there and then tied the bands um, on her braid like here and let the rest be loose and wavy from having her braids in for so long and she sent me some pictures and it was like super duper cute so that's actually a third way because I'm going to show you another way when we're done with this Tristan's being such a good model because she knows and I know I'm kind of being harsh on her hair and pulling <laughs> and she's not even wincing unless I can't see her. <laughs> okay, so braiding all the way to the bottom. Looking so good. Okay, so again, little baby rubber bands. So we're gonna do a little spinny spin. Okay, super cute. Okay, so now the last way that I also have done this, which is really cute, is you take that braid and you wrap it around your finger and you're basically gonna just take a bobby pin and just pin it up like that which I think looks super cute as well So there you have it. This is the three ways that you can wear the boxer braids. So I hope this gave you a little bit of insight. If you do have... <laughs> I don't even know I was so into what I was doing. So the phone, 
the camera has apparently um, <laughs> tilted slightly. <laughs> so thanks for watching!